you'll never realize how long a minute could be until you perform an elbow plank. This exercise is just pure evil. Anyway, the article that you're seeing right now will be linked in the description should you wish to check it out for yourself. And one thing that I should say is that I'm taking this together with the push-up challenge. I actually use this as a leverage for me to be able to take on that specific challenge. And you should also know that I've been planking since January of 2020 because I decided that this year will be the year when I would reach my goals. BMI, body weight, you name it. This should be the year. So I'm just basically documenting this while I solidify my muscle memory. Stay tuned. Allow me to give you a bit of context. When I started in January of 2020, I could only perform 20 seconds of elbow plank, 20 seconds of left side plank, and 20 seconds of right side plank. So that made up a minute. So that's what I consider as one set. All right, I hope you're still following. And that set is what I added on for the next months until I totaled six minutes. So in this video, when I say six minutes worth of plank, this is how I'm doing it. I'm not doing it all at once, but I'm doing it in bursts of 20 seconds. So I hope that I've made this clear. If not, you can ask me in the comments. Now, I almost forgot to mention that the format of this challenge will be lifted from the push-up, wherein I would only exercise for four days a week. I would use the remaining three days to rest because your body needs that as, well, per the experts as well. And for each day that I will be exercising, I would be for performing two sets. So that's actually 12 minutes of plank broken down like what you're about to see for each day of exercise. So enjoy. First things first, the proper position. If you have seen my push-up challenge video, you would notice right away that the way how I prepare for the exercise itself is pretty much similar. The difference is, as soon as I ascend myself to the proper push-up position, I take it a bit further by lowering down my forearm so that it forms a 90 degree with um, my elbow and as well as my shoulder. I maintain that for 20 seconds and then I ascend. So that's how it is. As for the side planks, you may not appreciate this right away because I am... Um, oh, that underwear. Well, there is no way I'm doing a second take on this, alright? So I use my hips to maneuver to the side. I clasp my hands together and then form a 90 degree angle like so. And I raise my hand up focus on my uh, finger and then focus on a single point and I just lay down like I'm Jesus and I do the same thing on the other side and look at that I maintain that for 20 seconds as well and then we're done so I just finished six minutes worth of planking and it came together so easily like I don't even think about it anymore for you who are starting this out, I mean, I really apologize that I wasn't able to film like the first six months where it was really challenging. It's just because, you know, I was still working on site and I'm not really serious with this YouTube thing yet. But now I am. So I guess this, if anything, this video would let you know that there's, um, I'm not sure if I'm making this as inspirational as possible. What I'm saying is, you could get to this point wherein you just don't think about it anymore. Planks, when you're already, when you've already put your head in the right place, are actually therapeutic. It's like you're meditating. Yet, I, I can't explain it, guys. It's a good feeling. You're sweating, but you're relaxed. So. I need you to try this for yourself so you could figure out what I'm talking about. But anyway, I feel good, I feel accomplished, and it's so nice that I, um, I have no problems with carrying my own body weight. I wish you could experience what I'm feeling right now. I really I'm do. I am drenched in sweat. 
Now, I realized early on that for me to have any credibility on this video, I just have to film after I finished the workout, right? So here I am, every single drop of sweat for the camera. So this is how you would look like after six sets of planking. Anyway, again, I am at the point wherein I could just let my mind fly while I'm doing the exercise, when you were starting out, or when I was starting out rather, I had one thing in mind. I need to focus on keeping and maintaining the proper form for 20 seconds at a time. So as with any exercise, you need to know how the proper form is done, and you need to keep at it. Like the quality, when we say quality, meaning the, the form matters more than the quantity or how long you do the exercise. That's why before I've tried doing the plank challenge where I do it everything at once, of course I didn't have it in video, like a full-blown six minutes. I was able to do that before but it's discouraging and I'm not sure how much of the time I'm actually keeping the proper form. So the, throughout years of um, trial and error, this is what I came up with, this is what's working and this is the method that made me realize how therapeutic planks can be. I was actually thinking of YouTube ideas while I was planking. Could you believe that? So try this out uh, using this method and see for yourself. It's a good thing that I did this in conjunction with the push-up challenge to give it a little more um, difficulty. So actually, after I do the push-up, I do the plank right away. That's why I could actually feel a bit of weight uh, from my body, like the aftermath of the push-up um, lingering whenever I do the plank. So that's a nice addition. It's like if I were weightlifting, additional weights have been um, put into whatever dumbbell, uh, if that's what it's called. So that's how it feels. It's a good uh, challenge and I, w I would only do more push-ups every month. That's why um, I don't see this um, plateauing anytime soon. You're again seeing my sweaty self after six minutes of planking. And I'm just excited because this is the last day for week one so I would get a few days of rest before I start working out again and there is nothing really much different about um, yesterday it's just that um, so again I'm doing this in conjunction with the push-up challenge right so the heaviest and the most difficult would be the elbow plank immediately after the push-up so your st your body is still recovering from the um, the impact of the push-up and then your elbow plank will be very difficult but so far if anything this is very minor but that's what i've noticed it hurt less it's a lot less heavier compared to yesterday on its own the plank is just not challenging anymore with the current setup that i have the only thing that is making it challenging is the push-up challenge that i'm doing this uh, with now after this video i won't actually be doing another plank challenge for a while the next time that i will do a plank challenge is when i plan to increase the amount of time that i plank per set so stay tuned for that but as of now it is getting easier it's somehow kind of plateauing and but it's still therapeutic and it's still beneficial as well so i plan to um again increase the difficulty of my push-up challenge and this basic plank would definitely help me with that goal i'm done with my six minutes worth of plank and one thing that I've noticed is that I'm already six months into this and counting, but when I let my mind fly, I sometimes um, forget to maintain the proper form, which is keeping your arms and legs uh, tense and straight, and most importantly, all the pressure should be in your core. So I can sometimes um, neglect those small details, which could reduce the effectiveness of the exercise. So I'm working on those things so I told you it doesn't get as easy as you think so it would still have 
uh, challenges. So on its own, it's really a self-sustaining exercise. I feel like my body is starting to adapt to this uh, plank challenge that I'm taking with the push-up. How I can say that is because I don't quite feel the added weight during the first uh, elbow plank after the push-up. And I really appreciate the value of rest days. Good thing I, I'm doing this the way I am because from what I've been reading ever since and from how I understand it, say for example, this is a muscle, right? It's all tense and all before exercising. And when you do exercise, it kind of gets uh, broken down like so. So it would have, um, it's broken down, it would have gaps, right? And what a rest day, what that does is it allows these holes to be filled out by the body repairing itself and of course the food you eat so that by the next time you do exercise, this would become a permanently uh, bigger and stronger muscle to help you cope up with the um, workload that you need to accomplish in your workout. So there, science. I'm really happy that I'm recording this video because I can tell you that even if you're six months or more into this, it's not my seventh month, well, there's still a possibility of you quitting or somehow. So something really depressing happened to me last week, so I decided not to exercise for a week. Today is when I finally got my head back into the right place, so I'm back in the game. And I just picked up, actually. There, there's nothing like um, first day difficulties, nothing like that. I just picked up. It's, the exercise was fairly easy. But the most, uh, the more important realization that I had is you need to have like a strong sense of why you are doing this. Well, for me, I just wanted to do this challenge because I want to better myself. I do not want to, you know, be a couch potato or just be stuck doing desk work all day. I, I want to move, be active, even though I'm just staying at home. So you need to have strong reasons. And I'm just happy that this video is, I mean, it acts as a way for me to say, to take some form of accountability for my actions. And not only am I uh, sharing my journey, but you guys are learning along the way. So this exercise brings a whole new level of self-awareness. Say for example, when you're planking, you would actually notice like, oh, I think my right arm is stronger than my left arm or something like that. So in a way, you get to know yourself more because in every exercise, even though it's quite repetitive at this point, there's always something to learn in every workout. So I think the muscle memory is taking its course. I don't um, worry too much about maintaining the form um, as much as I did when I was starting out. Of course, that may also be a bad thing because I may just be neglecting to maintain it but I have to make sure that I have um, a way of monitoring my form like maybe I'll film myself doing the workout um, at times just to check if I am maintaining it. If you do come to a point where you just don't think about planking anymore and you're like me that is actually varying it a bit by doing elbow planks and then side planks, you ha just have to be careful not to um, omit doing any of those variations because you're too um, busy making your mind fly. So still have focus and I do suggest having a um, a tracker of the exercises that you've completed like immediately after the exercise you can with a pen and a paper mark down that it's done so you don't forget it yeah. at this point I get into the zone very easily because I am quite aware of the things that I should be focusing on what could go wrong and all so this is getting better thanks to the other challenges that I'm taking with this one the plank is still challenging for me after seven months into it. I feel like if I did not take the LCIF challenge and the push-up challenge together with this, I would be plateauing at this Something point. that's kind of important 
but I haven't noticed until now is actually the support equipment that you use. It just sounds fancy, but all it is is the thing that you use to support your elbows when doing the plank. So if you're like me who cannot afford an exercise mat just yet, what you could do is, look at this, I'm just using a towel, a bath towel, a clean one, and I have folded it lengthwise like so. So that's what I'm using as support. I find that if your elbow is not being supported, uh, supported well, it's actually difficult to maintain a plank because after all, your bare delicate elbow skin is taking all the brunt of your entire body weighing down against everything else or fighting against gravity if that makes sense so invest in an exercise mat if you can if you cannot find something soft that would support your elbows i am slowly easing into the plank again so like what I've said, I would not be releasing another plank video for a while after this one only because there's no more variation left to do. But I will um, release extra videos for the push-up challenge because that's what I'll be working on for the next few months. <sighs> Alright, so as you can see, seven months into this and it still gets me in sweats no matter what. Now, I definitely have plateaued at this point if I'm only doing the plank challenge on its own so when you're doing it for a while and you start to not have any more challenges you have to find a way to make it challenging and I found that doing it with other exercises is one and two if that would if that's not an option for some reason you could use time like you um, lessen the amount of rest time in between sets. That's some of the ways that you can make it more challenging so you don't plateau. Final thoughts. Since I am filming this on my seventh month of planking, my journey would not be as climactic as those who would start from scratch, which is quite obvious. But my biggest takeaway from documenting this journey is that the longer you keep on doing something, the more you understand how it works and the better equipped you'll become for the challenges that may come along the way. So that's my two cents. And that's the end of this video. I sure want to know what you think in the comments and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down based on what you think. And if you would like to see more videos like this, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.